In this video, I'm going to talk about the nine things I wish I knew before starting a software QA or software testing career. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, guys. So the first one, uh, actually, it's all about the whenever when I started my career, right? I the e the one of the important. Uh, I think this is the probably the basic myth that most of the people have is testing is easy. Trust me, it is not. And I wish I knew this before that. right before jumping into the testing right it's not an easy if you are someone especially to the people i'm talking about who are right now in a development or probably in the support or devops they want to switch to automation testing or they want to switch to qa role trust me it's it, it is not a easy job it's a it's a similar uh, it it's also have a similar ups and downs and uh, trust me it's not an easy so that uh, one of the thing that i would like to highlight uh second important thing i think i have talked about this uh, many many times it is basically salary of uh, software tester and uh, trust me uh, if you talk about especially in the asian markets uh, especially india bangladesh uh, pakistan all these asian ones where software testers are given initially uh, they are given less salary as compared to the development team or a developer right and that thing uh, you have to take care of it if you are someone who is jumping into the software testing career uh this will the one of the important thing that you will see initially that uh when you are hired as an intern or uh, as a software tester for example as a fresher you will see a huge i would say huge uh, salary gap in terms of software tester with your developer if you try to compare it right and uh, instead uh, if you see the europe side as well as on the american side they don't have this huge gap i've seen my i have lots of uh, my friend who have similar salary as come as they have with the developer so that's one of the important thing that you have to take in mind right uh third point i want to talk about is uh, if you agree with me type yes in the comment is the respect of qa in the software industry so uh, i have been in the industry for more than 8 plus years guys i am working as a qa lead and i have seen that qa people are given very very less respect and no respect sometimes so i have created two or three videos around it in my youtube channel of testing academy make sure you subscribe to the channel and see those videos i have given you very interesting point of view how you can earn back those respect also but my point is uh, when I, when i started as my career as a software qa i didn't know that qa are given very very less respect sometimes they just uh, are getting ignored by the product manager stakeholders right so again uh very very strange point but you have to live with it but my point is uh if you are working hard if you are providing value if you are trustworthy if you follow that four principle that i have probably shared in the uh, i have shared not probably i have shared in the previous video i mean to say uh, where uh, you have to be creative informative creative informative trustworthy and focused if you follow this four principle you will gain back those qa respect okay so that's what you can do fourth point is if you love coding then only you can become automation or as that this is one of the important thing if you are someone who has who uh, is uh, who hate coding or who don't want to do coding or probably don't want to do programming i mean to say also trust me automation testing is not uh, for you because eventually you will be writing the code to automate that code right so developer has written some code so you will be just writing that code to test that code eventually it's a meta coding you can say uh, so if you are someone i have seen couple of people who are right now working as a manual tester they just hate or don't know coding and they are struggling right now so pay attention right so i wish i knew this before right i hope you are loving this video right now do comment down what exactly uh, the things that you wish before you starting as a qa career or if you are someone who starting out uh, if you are learning something new type in the comment that i am learning all right type in the comment i am learning all right so let's move on to the next point which is tester should be involved in the first day of the project so this is one of the important thing i think uh, i wish i been knew this but uh, most of the companies are not following it where they just include tester probably in the end they'll just just give uh, whatever the end product that they have prepared they just give it to the tester to test it out and trust me it uh, basically uh, the tester who is testing it they don't have context they don't have requirements they sometimes are struggling to understand the product due to that right so that you can do uh, i think that's uh, one of the important thing i wish knew i knew and uh, i would highly recommend if so that is the process that is uh, getting implemented in your company make sure you uh, discuss with your stakeholders or designers and let 
them know that please include us uh, in your conversation initial conversation also okay uh, another point which is uh, is that testing uh, software testing is waste of time trust me it's not a tester software tester can definitely help you to remove or help you to control your quality i mean to say right and they can help you some initial bugs which can basically break your repo in the market and if you are someone who is basically starting out as a startup or someone make sure you add software tester and give them respect and uh, get as much uh, i mean to say that your product uh, tested your product uh, as possible so sir trust me it's not a waste of time okay dollar this is one of the important thing which i wish i knew which is developer and testers are equal trust me they are not they are given huge salary difference and they are uh, very very different they have different mindset developers basically focus on the problem that they have automated and they have done it testers basically talk about they have a high level of picture but exactly going on how user going to respond by using that application okay so they have very different uh, perspective most of the time uh, last uh, second last point which is uh, important is everyone blames qa and trust me uh, whenever if you are working in agile environment uh, it's so basically quality is basically everyone's job right and everyone is responsible for the quality not qa so that i wish i knew before jumping into qa that everyone try to blame to qa only whenever they found some bug in the production let me know in the comment if you agree with this point okay and uh, last point but not the least which basically if you are qa if you are a software tester you have to wear different tech hats like you can uh, sometimes be working as a software dev ops or sometimes you are working with as a software tester sometimes okay so you have to uh, have wear different different hats right so those are the things i think i have learned uh, i wish i knew before starting as a software testing do let me know what are the different things uh, that you agree disagree in the comment box and make sure you subscribe and like this video thanks a lot I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome, Moth.